Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Liz and I'm the creator of Zinuberry Designs and today we're going to talk about organization. I have an Etsy store. I'm going to leave that link below so if you enjoy what you see please go take a look. All right, organization. Uh, I think everybody strives to be organized and make sure everything is put in its place. We're not always successful. Am I successful? No, not always. But I do, I do like organization. I do like planning and being organized. And I believe that organization is a habit just like any other habit. So once you get this habit down, I think you can become more organized, efficient, effective in your digital planning world and journey. So today we're going to show you in GoodNote 6 how you can become more organized in your planner and journal organizer for 2024. This organizer is completely hyperlinked so you can navigate to wherever you want quite easily. But in GoodNote 6, there's a few tips and techniques that will allow you to go even quicker between your pages to wherever you want to get to. So if I click on the index, there is a video about what all the sections look like and what they are. And so you can take a look at that. But we're going to quickly show you how quickly it is to navigate to January, June, July. And so these are divider pages. So when you land on, when I tap on January, it lands on a divider page, which I kind of liken to the front of your file folder. And I've decorated it. And in order to um, insert January, if you've purchased the January planner and you want to insert it into the organizer, you're going to tap on the plus button and press import and navigate to wherever in your files app is the January planner. Click on that and it will import it right behind this page. So if you scroll over, there is the January planner and I've already released it. So if you want to take a look at that video, you certainly can. So that's how easy it is to add things into this planner and journal organizer. For example, I have a section that I can put in 12 different types of planners and journals, a travel journal, a food journal, a fitness journal, uh, anything that you want to put in there and easily um, use all of the links to do that. I have put my ideas and inspirations um, journal in here. I haven't decorated the uh, divider cover, but if I scroll over, I'm right into my um, ideas and inspirations, which is its own entity as well, and it is super hyperlinked. But to get back to anywhere, you have to scroll over and then tap on the links. There is an easier way to navigate in the organizer. You can certainly just scroll and tap anywhere you want to. That's not a problem. It is fully hyperlinked. But I can cut out a few steps for you by showing you some of the tools in GoodNotes that can make this a uh, much easier um, way of doing things. All right, so we're going to start by showing you the little drop down menu where the four boxes are. You have three sections. You have your thumbnails of every single page in the organizer, including all of the planners. And you can scroll through all of those pages if you want to. Or you can create a favorite section or an outline section. So for 2024 Digital Organizer, I'm going to create outlines um, of every section of, sorry, of every section in my um organizer. So I can get to the index just by tapping on the button. I can get to my ideas and inspirations, which I've already inserted in there just by tapping a button. And I can get to my January planner just by touching a button. Now I'm going to make sure I put um, anything else that I insert into my index I'm going to put on here and all of the planner months as they come up. So how do you make an outline? Well, you're going to decide what you want to have as an outline. So I wanted my January 2024 planner to be a quick uh, tap navigation. So I'm going to just kind of touch on it and it shows me that it is on page 315. So we're going to go to the drop down menu, go to thumbnails and navigate to page 315 which is right here, and you're gonna tap on the bottom. And mine says manage outline because I've already created it as an outline. But if I tap on this one, it says add page to outline. And when you tap on that, you, you have the ability to name what that is. So I've named mine January 2024. And now you have that in your outline and you can easily navigate from your planner. Let's say you're working in your planner, right to your index and pick something else in your index or you can have everything that you've already imported in your index 
in your outline. So that is how I'm going to use some easy navigation by utilizing the outline feature in GoodNotes. Another thing that you can do is, um, let's say you are working in your January planner on a certain page and you want to get to a certain page somewhere in the organizer, you can use the bookmarks. So you can bookmark that page and then you can navigate to where you want to be in the other um, sections of your organizer and bookmark that page. And then you can tap on favorites and they will be there so that you can easily go back and forth between the pages that you've bookmarked and uh, you can have as many bookmarks as you want. But I'm just gonna, if I'm working in January, I'll just bookmark to where I want to get to. So that is another easy navigational system for you. And so I'm really excited about that. Now you've got three ways of uh, moving around. You can swipe and use the uh, organizer with its links. You can use the um, thumbnails, the favorites, and the outlines to move around as well. However, GoodNotes 6 has also incorporated quick links to any page in your, um, actually in your, your organizer, your planner, or in GoodNotes alone. So this takes a little bit of setup time, but once you've done it, it is seamless. Like there is no more clicking on this and then clicking on that. You can just go between where you want to go to very easily. And I'm going to show you how. And this is done via the text box. So the text box can be empty in order to link it, or it could have, uh, you can type something in in order to link it. So let's try both ways. So I'm going to create a text box. I want to link to from my January planner to my ideas and inspirations board. So I'm just going to simply type out ideas and inspirations and it's going to type out in your favorited uh, font you can change that if you want to so now we're going to tap on that and up comes the add link so you can add a link to the document which is anything inside good notes or you can add a link to the website as well so we're going to add a link into uh Let's see, link settings. We're gonna not add to website. We're gonna add a link to the document. So you're gonna add a link to this document, uh, but you have to know what page it's on. And since I've already um, set up my ideas, inspirations in my outlines, it tells me that it's on page 192. So that's pretty easy. But if you haven't set that up, you're going to have to navigate to figure out which page um, ideas and inspirations is on. And that's really simple by going to the index, clicking on ideas and inspirations. And at the bottom, if you touch it, it shows that it's on page 192. Oops, I need to get back in. <laughs> and that's how easy that is. So let's set this up so that it goes seamlessly to that um, page. So I'm gonna tap on it. I'm going to make sure it goes to this particular document. So I'm gonna tap on that, select it, and I'm gonna tap on 192. So at this point, you can't really type in 192. You have to search for it. So sorry if the scrolling is <laughs> making you dizzy. I'm gonna find 192 and tap on that. And now it is linked to that page. When you tap off of the pen tool and you're in read mode only, you can quickly um, just tap on it and it takes you right to that page. How exciting is that? So I'm gonna show you another way of doing it that is um, with the text box with no words on it. So I can, I can actually take this and put this anywhere, put it on any page. Um, I can insert this actually into my favorites. And I'm gonna talk about uh, the, I forgot what this was, the elements tool in another video, but I can insert that into the elements tool and put this on any page that I want to because it's already set up now in the plan and journal, uh, sorry, in the organizer to go to the ideas and inspirations that I've inserted for myself. Another way to set this up is via pictures. So if you are more of a visual person, you can put the link on top of a picture. And so that is what I've done here. I've simply just taken a screenshot of this and I've already um, linked it the exact same way I did the letters. And if I click on it, actually I have to toggle off, click on it, it takes me right back. And so now that I'm working in my ideas and inspirations, I wanna go back to January very quickly. So I've created a screenshot of my January planner and linked it back to the January page. And I can go back and forth at a click. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> I'm just having so much fun doing this and I hope you do as well. 
You can also link to something out of the organizer that is in your good notes, um, which is, for example, my sticker book. And so that will bring the pop-up menu. You could scroll out, get the sticker book if you wanted to, but this is easy. You link it once and it's there. So again, I'm going to take the text box. Let's see where, I, there we go. And I'm going to make it blank and return it a couple of times and put that on top of my sticker book. Now, to set this up, I do have to figure out where it is. So let's uh, add a link. I'm gonna add a link to not this document. I'm gonna find the document that I want. And I'm gonna link it to my Zuniberry sticker book. And I'm gonna select that. And I'm gonna link it to the cover. That's all I want to do. So now that is already linked and all I have to do is tap on that and my sticker book comes up. Now you can you can link it to page two if you wanted to, the index, you can link it to, let's say you were, it's um, January and you wanna just link it to January, you can link it to January as well. So that is how seamless that is and so much fun to use. Oh, sorry, so within the Organizer, you can go back and forth anywhere you want, and you can also link it to whatever you have on GoodNotes. So here's the Zinia Berry sticker book, and I can get right back into my organizer. And I don't have to use this again because my sticker book is up here, but if it wasn't, I would just use that. So this is something that you can add to your elements, and whenever you need it, you can use it. So this is how you do that. I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm going to... Um, Lasso it, add to elements. It tells me where, and I'm gonna do a video on how I've set up my elements. So I'm gonna add it to quick links and there it is. So if I wanted to, if my planner was, if my sticker book was not open and I needed it, I could just uh, open up my elements to quick links and there it is. And now I can use that uh, on this page to open up my sticker book. So that is how seamless it is. And yes, we will have an elements tutorial as well. And I hope that you enjoy this and try this and implement this. And I'm excited um, to share this with you and we will see you in the next video. Thank you everybody.